Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. The court acknowledges the prosecution's request. Miss Andrews, if you please. Oh, but not the defense's request. Only the prosecution's. The judge is completely biased. Well, mm -hmm. when I found the body. That glass of juice, I didn't really pour it for myself. What, were you going to pour it for an offering? <laughs> I was surprised when I walked into the room and saw it in that messy state. And Juan, he was sitting slumped over and tired looking in the corner. When I saw him sitting like that, the thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. How? There is a knife sticking out of him! <laughs> Unless she was the one who stabbed him. And she's completely forgetting that she did that. Oh. Because, you know, he's already dead. If he's just suffocated, he's just like, ugh. And she's like, oh, let me pour you a drink, Juan. The night's ours. And she's like, um, <laughs> oh. never mind. Okay. You're out. Better. Do well, you found a contradiction immediately. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> To be honest, I thought he just fainted or something, so I wanted to pour him some juice. When I realized that he was dead, that's when I knocked the flower vase over. Yeah, no. That's a you're, good lie, though. <laughs> you're slipping, honey. I'm sorry. Hmm, so you poured that glass of juice for the victim. Why didn't you say so in your earlier testimony? I didn't think I needed to include something so trivial. That's half of the problem with these people is they're like... <laughs> Okay, literally, it's one or the other. They're either like, oh, let me tell you about my grandma's cat. Or it's like, <laughs> or it's like oh, I didn't think to mention And then that I saw I... the guy kill the guy. Yeah, like, I didn't yep. think to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, pr that's pretty true. Phoenix, please be careful here. If you can't find anything wrong with this testimony, then there's nothing left. I know. Edgeworth. What the heck is going on in that brain of yours? Well, he's like, wait, I haven't seen Maya in a year. I wonder what happened to that girl. Okay, maybe I'll... Now then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Maybe that's his character building personality getting better. <laughs> All that, I don't know. Anyway, since we kind of know what to do, let's just... Let's just press everything. Yeah. But there wasn't anyone else in the room, right? Of course not. Then, who did you pour it for? Mr. Wright, there's a rhyme and reason for everything. Can you wait just a little longer for it to be revealed for you? In other words, Wright, be quiet and listen. Precisely. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh -huh. Surprised when you walked in the room and saw it in the messy state. So, it was a mess? Are you sure it wasn't messy because of your fight with Mr. Corita? I understand your frustrations at not being able to prove your theory. However, before you go accusing people of crimes, go find yourself some evidence. <sighs> and then, what did you see next, witness? He was just slumped over, tired, looking in the corner. He was just taking a nap. You know. That, like, all the stars are doing <laughs> these days. Uh, next to your dresser. <laughs> slumped over? Yes, he was just sitting there with his head tilted forward, eyes closed. He really looked like he was sleeping. Is it just me, or did that right there sound a little odd? When you saw him sitting like that, the thought that he was dead didn't cross his mind. <laughs> didn't cross my mind. Then what did you cross your mind? I thought maybe he had smashed everything up in anger and because he lost the Grand Prix, and then felt tired after his rampage, so he decided to take a nap. Anyways, that's what I thought. I see. So you didn't think he was dead at all? You know. Thought he had just fainted or something. You're like, well, Watton loves tomato juice, so I'm gonna do it. You thought he fainted? I thought he was asleep at first. But then, the room was in such a messy state, I thought maybe he had gotten into a fight with someone. And that's when you went to pour the glass of juice? Yes, he always had a hard time waking up. So, Juan always has a glass of tomato juice to drink. Well, you know enough- Like, to pour on his head not to drink? <laughs> no, he, he, she knows enough about him to know that much, at least. Yeah, they were, like... Lovers. <laughs> they were, um, seeing each other? They're very vague about the relationship. I see, and after that, what happened next? 
She doesn't seem to be shook up that she, he's... Yeah, I don't think that she really liked him like that. Mm. <laughs> she was just like, well, maybe I can get closer to get the suicide, you know? <laughs> That's what I thought. And how did you come to realize that he was, in fact, dead? I shook him over and over, but I never got a response. So wait, she's just like, has her tomato juice glass, and he's like, WAKE UP! I HAVE TOMATO JUICE! Oh, jeez, okay. Um, oh, that was awkward. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. So I set the glass down on the dresser and tried to take his pulse. I... I was shocked and staggered backward. And knocked the flower vase over. So that's what happened. Yes. This is what it's all comes down to. Huh? This is the absolute end for both sides, and Adrian is letting her guard down. Phoenix, now is our best chance yet to kill the prosecution's case! Isn't that a bit harsh? Miss Andrews, will you tell us the truth this time? No. Well, I mean... You had a knife sticking out of yourself! <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't, but he did. Yeah. So you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him? No, not at all. Even though this is what you saw when you discovered the body? Ah! What, what is the meaning of this? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? There's a knife sticking straight out of Mr. Corridor's chest. Anyone who saw this scene would have immediately thought that there was a dead man. Uh, um, that's... well, you see... I doubt a single person in the world would mistake this for someone who fainted, and uh, then so nonchalantly go pour something to drink. Y your point is? Miss Andrews, your testimony just now, it was all one giant lie. Ugh. Six pairs, broken. And your lie has proven one thing very clearly, that you are the real killer. Looks like the defense has somehow brought the ugly truth to light. Without the suicide note, which makes me think there's still more. Yeah, the defendant, Mr. Matt Ongard, is not guilty after all. That... but that's impossible, you're wrong! M miss Andrews, try to have some composure! It... it wasn't me. It wasn't me, I tell you! It was Matt! I swear it! He's the one who killed Juan! But you were the one who refused to testify! And your reason for not doing so is that you MIGHT end up incriminating yourself. But that's because... Miss Andrews, I will give you one last chance. What exactly are you hiding that may incriminate you? I... I... I refuse to testify. Yeah, this is where I'm feeling bad for you, Adrian. <laughs> right. Then there is no need for this court to continue any further. Mr. Matt Bongard's innocence has been clearly demonstrated. Is... is it... over? Have we... have we found the truth at last? No. What's wrong, Phoenix? Usually... well, usually the real killer confesses his or her guilt. And now that I think about it, this is the first time someone hasn't. Now then, I would like to hand down my verdict for Mr. Matt Bongard. Thanks, Edgeworth. <laughs> but also thanks. <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution feels that it would be premature to pass down a verdict at this time. Wh what The reason is quite simple. This witness has yet to speak the absolute real truth. Yeah, because she refuses to, and she should! <laughs> the absolute real truth? What are you... Witness, don't you understand yet? I don't know who planted this silly idea in your head, but as long as you protect yourself through your silence, Matt Ongard will go free, and in his place, you will become the guilty party. That, that's... that's a lie! I... I don't believe you! What? I... I was told if I spoke... if I spoke then it would be all over, and Matt would never be declared guilty. What in the world is she talking about? Has she lost it? I... I can't speak about it. I'm too scared. It's Francisca Von Karma. Huh? Don't you remember, Phoenix? Miss Andrews lives by gripping tightly onto the words of another. 
because she doesn't have the strength to believe in herself. Which is sad. Th then right now, Miss Andrews is... Yesterday, she was tossed a lifesaver by Miss Von Karma. Don't say a word, no matter what happens. If you do, Mad On Guard will be acquitted. Miss Andrews undyingly believes in those words right now and is clinging onto them. Which is annoying because I feel like at this point, I would just be, if I was in her position, which would suck, by the way, I'd just be like, okay, well, I'm already down here. I'm already going to get arrested. We might as well end this with a clean slate and just, like, everything's out there. Yeah. And then let it be done with. Right, but Miss Andrews doesn't think that way. She doesn't, and... Which is sad. Which is sad. Then what should I do? This this is the first time I've ever come across anything like this. But Miss Andrews has to be the killer, right? All we have to do now is is get our not guilty. That's my only priority. It wasn't me. I'm begging you, please believe me. I didn't kill one. Help, please, someone help me. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? The court can't continue on like this, therefore I'd like to hear what you intend to do. What I intend to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Right, I suggest you think very carefully about this. Think about what this witness did and what she did not do. And think about who is the real mastermind behind this crime. Oh, we know who the real mastermind <laughs> is. That is obvious. Who's the real mastermind? Isn't that obvious? There's no one else it could be except that woman crying over there. No! Right? No! It totally has to be the killer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100%. Come now, what will you do? What kind of man are you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Request not guilty verdict. Force Andrews to testify. No. I don't like either of these options. <laughs> no! Those are our only two, though. I know, but, like, if we... We can either say, them. like, she's not testifying, so... That's it, let's go to the verdict. Or we can say, we can try to get her to testify. Here's the deal, if we try to get her to testify, this girl's gonna cry, and She's already be, crying. And, this, and nothing's going to be done about it. But if we request a not guilty verdict, we are literally not going to get to the core of the problem. I would say. Make your choice. I don't know! Neither of these are good. How about we just, like, tell everyone what happened in our experience? Um, because yeah! And then he'll be like, oh, well, you told everybody, so... No, okay, I'm saying that, like, we're technically witnesses in a way to this crime. Like, we're not, but we're witnesses to something big. This... Bell hop. Bell boy. Bell boy. <laughs> Bell boy dude was just, like, the butler or whatever. He had it all planned out. He knew where everyone was staying in the hotel. He knew that where Maya was going to be. He probably hired this girl, or at least forced her to work. You know, he probably—you know what he probably did? Blackmail was like, "Hey, if you do this crime for me, I'll get you this suicide note." And then she's like, "Okay, okay, I'll do anything for this stupid suicide note." And <laughs> like, but, but seriously, and that's why she has this stupid card that she's flicking because she's like, "Remember, I gotta." Mm. Follow my yeah. orders and stuff, and then oh, you know, so that's what you this. think. I think okay. that's what it is. A bit, I think. Okay, but, but that still doesn't answer the question. Which do you want to do? Just pick one. I don't know. Yeah, I figured we have to do the other. <sighs> no matter what she says, Miss Andrews is the only person it could be. Not to mention, I don't have a choice. I have to win a complete acquittal today. Y Your Honor. The defense believes there is enough evidence to substantiate our claim. Therefore, we motion that this court passes a verdict of not guilty as soon as possible. Hmm. I'm disappointed in you, Wright. What have you learned in this past year? That's enough. I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear that the defense's theory is the truth. You're wrong. Okay. <laughs> It actually, it doesn't matter either way. Okay, that's what I thought. I have to win a complete acquittal today. There's no way around that. But, I can't bring myself to do it like this. Not when she's making a face like that. Miss Andrews, I would like to know what you are really hiding. M Mr. Wright, are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, Mr. Ongard would get an acquittal, but in his place, you would be found guilty. Is this, 
Is this how you really want this trial to end? Be quiet. How dare you? You... You're trying to trick me! That's enough. I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear that the defense's theory is the truth. You're... you're wrong. Such a shame. I had hoped things wouldn't come to this, however... What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Andrews, since you absolutely refuse to testify, it falls on my shoulders to disclose this to the court. Stop! M Mr. Edgeworth? This witness... How should I put this? She has an illness. No! No, Edgeworth! Do not do this! She's going to kill herself! What? And because of this illness, she has tried to commit suicide in the past. No! Stop! Please stop! No matter how much you want to hide it, it's no use. I have the evidence right here. That's... That's the second part of the suicide report. The attempted suicide report. What will you do now, witness? You know what I am about to do, don't you? I will now reveal to the court the true nature of the pitiful woman known as Adrian Andrews. The secret of her codependent nature. Having other people know about it scares her more than anything else in the world. Please, please stop! I beg you! If people find out... If people find out, I'll... I'll... If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. WHAT THE HECK?! Ed Edgeworth! Edgeworth, how can you be so cold? However, before you die, I will pull the truth from your breathing lips, no matter what I have to do. Yeah, Edgeworth is kind of Edgeworth, crossing the moral Edgeworth, event horizon here. such a butt! My god! I think this goes beyond that! <laughs> it is, but... Oh. So, will you tell the court yourself, or shall I? Ivor is fine with me. I... I'll talk, but please, help me. Nothing matters anymore. <sighs> My cry. When I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted. Honest. When I realized he was dead, that's when I formulated my plan. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to, back to Matt's room. And then, I stabbed Juan's dead body with a knife and ripped off the button. Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of an inconvenience. And that's why... That's why I ended up using the Nickel Samurai costume. An inconvenience. S stabbed the body? With the knife? But why would you do that? Isn't it obvious? To pin the blame on a certain person. A certain cowardly man! Wh what do you mean by all of this? It might take this court a little while to understand, but... This is the truth. The real killer is Matt. That scumbag of a man! I'll never forgive him! He's trying to escape his guilt again, just like last time. Last time? Oh! Second idea. What if- he, Uh, go back to the court record. Here we- Go to profiles. Here we- <laughs> Go to Celeste. How old was it, she? Doesn't know. Killed two years ago. Dang it. Uh, I guess she would be kind of old if that were the case. What are you thinking? He- Escape- He's escaping guilt- from before. He's 21. Yeah. Maybe there there was, um, maybe he was a lover of the deceased oh. woman, maybe, and drove her to insanity, or maybe... Didn't uh, stop her? Didn't stop her, or... Mm, interesting. I don't know. He seems too young, though, to have... Yeah. She does look considerably she older. She looks considerably older, which makes me wonder if they're, like, related. Like, oh, this is my aunt, or this is oh. my mom, or something. Um, could be. Okay. Or, uh, I don't know. Okay. Something like that. So Miss Andrews stabbed the victim, Juan Corrida, in the chest with the knife. However, she didn't do it with murder in mind. She did it with the intent of framing Matt Ongard for the murder. And this, this is her crime. 
What? How is this possible? I mean, wasn't Miss Andrews supposed to be the real murderer? Mr. Wright, please get over your shock and commence with the cross-examination. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of happy if Matt Ongard is the real killer. Really? <laughs> no, no, because it's like, we, there's so many where it's like, well, I guess we have to prove our client innocent, so mm. it can't be him or it can't be her, but this time it could be like, ooh. Except we already know he's not because he didn't have Cyclops. Well, maybe he just, I don't know. You know how, like, with earthbending, Toph could tell if somebody was lying or not or whatever? You know that? It's more like, accurate than that. It so. is, but maybe he just has, like, no shame and he's just like, it, it yeah. won't matter. Oh, it it shows their secrets, shows not their necessarily secrets. if they're lying. Oh, you're telling me that dude doesn't have any other secrets? Not relating to what we talked okay. about. Okay, because I was like, I can't imagine how many Cyclops would blow up for someone if it's like, <laughs> if it's like, oh, I accidentally took this cookie once. I accidentally that would be one. <laughs> Maybe. Took a Playmobil hat. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you could tell from the state of the room that it was in that there must have been a fight. Are you telling the truth when you say you did not know he was dead? He had a scarf tied around his neck. But that scarf is part of the Jamma Ninja's costume, so... So I didn't think anything about it. it was strange. Maybe he suicided. Oh, interesting. I think... I already had thought about that before, and then someone just finished the job. Hmm. So one thing it could be is that he lost this big award. Thing. You know, that was, like, super important to him. That would determine popularity or not. Doesn't have it. He's not making it in the world. He's always been, like, below everyone else. There's nothing worth living for. So he just has a rampage that, That's office. depressing, but yeah. It is! But it happens! And yep. he had a rage thing through the office. I'm trying to figure out, though, you can suffocate yourself, right? Oh, yeah! Yeah, okay, oh, absolutely. you can do that. So, um, yeah. That could happen. I mean, no, no, she... you can't do. Definitely can't. No, no, no. <laughs> not um, even a little. But yeah, and then she probably discovered him and was like, "Great, now it's gonna look like I did this thing." Wow. But honestly, if she had just left. Well, here's the thing: if once choked himself with a knife, then his position, like, it wouldn't be tied not behind a, his back. Not a knife. A not scarf. a knife. A scarf. I'm sorry. If he choked himself with his scarf, the scarf was tied behind his head. If that were the case, his arms would have been like this. So. Maybe he found a different way. Uh -huh. His head was also tilted down a bit, so I couldn't see his face that well. That's why I thought I'd wake him up and went to pour the juice. I realized that he was dead. That's when I formulated my plan. What is this plan you had? I knew right away the murderer was Matt. I knew because one, he was going to expose Matt's weakest weak point in the world. Weakest weak point. <laughs> weak. I said weakest weak point. The weak points. The weak oh, points. Oh, the farmer's weak points. Oh <laughs> What's boy. Beans and did you know girl? that he's gluten free? <laughs> 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 so Matt did this to stop Juan and silence him for good. That's what I thought. I should forge some evidence and pin this crime on Matt. So the forged pieces of evidence were the knife and the button. The first thing that came to mind was to plant the knife. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash to Matt's room. Oh yeah. What about Lotta? So that was what, uh, that was so you could get the knife, correct? The knife Matt used at dinner had his fingerprints all over it. I thought if I used that, then the police would certainly turn their eyes toward him. Matt was napping with his costume on that at that time. Slipped in, took the knife, and the... From the table, or from him? From the table. Okay, I'll... He didn't take it, he make him to sleep. He made it, it makes it sound like he was sleeping with the knife. That would be just... really weird. That would be really weird. <laughs> Return to the crime scene. That would be like that Tom and Jerry episode, where Jerry and the other mouse are trying to, like, convince Tom that he's trying to kill himself while he sleeps. I forgot about the that The really episode. dark one, where it's like, yeah. nah, Tom, you deserve to win that one. Yeah, that one was bad. I forgot about It's like, Jerry, episode. really? This is how you get your kicks? You're trying to convince people that they're suicidal. <laughs> Ugh. So you were the one to stab the victim with that knife. They never show that episode now. It gives me goosebumps to think about it now. What a horrible thing I did. But at the time, I couldn't control my own body. It moved on its own. Then when I stabbed Juan's dead body, I suddenly realized something. 
If I used the button somehow, I could make Matt look even more like a suspect. So you thought to rip one of the buttons off and then plant it in Mr. Ongard's Akama? Yes, that's what I had planned to do. But things never go that smoothly, do they? Just when I finished and I was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of an inconvenience. An inconvenience? There was a woman with a camera at the ready, loitering in the hallway. I'm willing to bet my spikes it was Lada. There was also a woman with a ray gun at the ready, pacing back and forth. <sighs> That's Miss Oldbag for you. I had already been caught and made into a big scoop for a certain weekly tabloid once, so I couldn't very well go out looking like myself and getting caught again. And that's why, that's why I ended up using the Nickel Samurai costume. You were the one who prepared that costume, weren't you? Yes, I took it from the Global Studios. I also put it in the Wong's guitar case the day before the award ceremony. But why?! You did this in preparation mm, yeah, for the right, press conference, right. correct? Yes, Wan wanted to wear that costume and hold a press conference in it. He was going to disclose Matt's big secret there, which we did not get any sight of. And what for. is this secret? That, I don't know. Anyway, I thought that if I were to leave Wan's room in the Nipple Samurai costume, then people would think that Matt was the real murderer. I was very careful not to leave any fingerprints when I opened the guitar case. I absolutely did not want anyone to know about the costume. I think we've heard enough. So after that, you went back to Mr. Ongard's room and pointed the button? Into Matt's Hakama, yes. After that, I folded up the costume I was wearing and put it into the bag. Then I snuck out of the hotel and got rid of it. My word, what does all this mean? Mr. Edgeworth, is it? The real criminal is Matt Ongard. Yesterday, that woman prosecutor set me down for a talk. Francisca, huh? She said that I should, under no circumstances, confess to what I had done. That if I just kept quiet, then Matt would be found guilty for sure. And here's the thing, when Francisca said that, she thought she was prosecuting the case. Mm -hmm. And therefore she would have done things much differently than Edgeworth would have. Yeah. So, she can kind of be forgiven for that, but that's still a terrible thing to do. I... I had no choice but to believe in her words. What this witness has done is clearly unlawful. However, as long as her testimony stands, we can be certain she is not the real killer. W wait Your Honor! The defense still- Right. It's pointless. At this point in time, it is not possible to indict Miss Andrews on anything. Very true. Yes, exactly. There isn't Here's a the deal. I'm waiting for Maya to come running in like- starved eating two burgers at once be like listen to my story this is gonna knock your socks off and then hopefully mm. have dragged the dude down there i don't know there isn't a single piece of evidence that points to her as the murderer she may not be that's my thing like i know we were going into this like oh it could be her but i don't actually think she did it, did it. i think uh, okay. i think um dick Hillow did it or that like this would be, like, such a movie cliche if he was, like, the publisher or whatever that Matt kept calling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if he's like, wait, let me check. Okay, okay, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so that way, wow. like, he was getting calls from people who he thought were higher ups. Oh, but it was actually But that... it was actually this guy. Oh, that would be Wouldn't interesting. Be awesome? Where it's like, he's like, well, I guess my manager wants me to just, like, suffocate this guy, but okay, you know, it's my manager, I gotta do this. <laughs> like, it's not the manager, but, like, it's someone in a higher up position than Matt, and he may not even be realizing he did this, but he's just blindly following these orders from his watch, and then the dealer- <laughs> Are you saying they are hypnotizing him, or he's so stupid that he's he would so be- so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, alright. The cross-examination of this witness is over, and so is today's trial. Maya! You couldn't establish that the witness was the culprit. Please let it go, Mr. Wright. No. But but Mr. Edgeworth, please place Miss Andrews under arrest for further questioning. Understood, Your Honor. The prosecution will arrange for her detention immediately. That's all. Court is adjourned for today. And all of a
a sudden bombs go off as the killer comes. No. Huh? Uh, oh, Phoenix! I'm sorry, bud. Today's, today's trial. It's over! And I didn't win an acquittal! Not mine. Witness, would you mind if I ask you something? Edgeworth? What is it? Before you leave court today, I wondered if I might look at one thing. The card in your hand? It's had my interest for quite some time now. What exactly is it? Or what exactly is it? <laughs> oh, this... Mr. Wright also asked about this. Although I didn't remember at the time you asked me about it, Mr. Wright. I remember just now. I found this in the room on that day. The room? That day? Yes. I found this card when I discovered Juan's body. See? This is what I thought. The killer killed him. It was lying right there next to him. You found that card next to the victim's body? I suppose I must have unconsciously slipped it into my pocket. But it's not as if this card has any relevance to Juan's murder, right? It has every relevance <laughs> yeah, to it! Yeah, I guess not, but it's still a strange card if you ask me. But as far as clue to this case, I don't see why. Witness that card! Give it to me! Hurry! Edgeworth? I mean, I knew he knew Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? This... I can't believe you hid this from me all this time! I... I didn't mean to... What, what is this all about? I've never seen such an emotional Edgeworth in my entire life. Edgeworth's probably like, THIS IS THE WEIRD SERIAL KILLER FROM SPAIN! <laughs> from Spain? <laughs> from Spain! That card, what in the world is it? And what does it mean? It's a shell ship. Should be continued. Okay, So if you well, thought that it was just one trial period, no, there's another. Stupid to kill her? Okay, well, <laughs> however, this is the thing that I don't understand. It, he made it sound like, hey, the minute that gavel goes down, I'm going to kill this girl. Like, he's listening on an end or something, like, oh, yeah. what, what's up? But remember, Maya did escape. Maya escaped. So she, he may have gone back and be like, What? Where's the girl in the wine cellar? Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to oh, find her. Yeah, like that kind of thing, which is good. Shucks That'll buy us some time. But there's no way Maya can run all night. Like, she's gotta eat. In, yeah, she could be in Spain, for all we know. <laughs> well, I just picked Spain, because I was like, um, some place that has water. Some place far away. Some place that has water. And I missed Tea Party guests from far, far away land. <laughs> it was like the seashell plus the ship. I don't know why I thought Spain, but I was just like, Spain! Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, if... If you haven't been gripped by this series yet, every episode after this is going to be like, because this investigation period, we're basically going to find out everything. We actually get to investigate. Woohoo! Yay! See, oh uh, yeah. And we're going to learn the truth behind that seashell card next See, this time. is just annoying, though, because it's like, I was thinking that we wouldn't get another investigation period. Mm-hmm. And now we have another. And now I'm excited. Now we do. Anyhow, look forward to that. I know I'm going to look forward to that, because... The, these, the rest of the case is essentially what I've been looking forward to all LP. It's, okay. really, it's really well done. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.